Best ever Tux Wonder Dogs is a crazy world of dogs and people having fun. Like the larger than life Labrador, Barney Bibby. All revved up and no place to go. <laughs> They're travelling today. Too much coffee at breakfast, I think. <laughs> Not enough prize money here to suspect steroids at the state. <laughs> Barney known as Banana Man. Lives with a Waimarana. On you go, that's it. A Waimarana called Schultz. And when Barney steals the Tux Biscuits, which I'm told he does, Schultz says nothing. Hi there, and welcome to the best ever Tux Wonder Dogs. A look at some of the highlights and wonderful memories over the years. Now, Dexter insisted that we start off with a Labrador, and that character was the legendary Barney Bibby from Hawke's Bay. Well, over the years, we've had 500 dogs and handlers involved, and there have been some real characters. I guess one of the most memorable ones belonged to Maxine Jones, a golden retriever called Sanders. Sanders are golden, of course. He's missed obstacle number one and obstacle number two and obstacle number three. <laughs> now, if he misses them all, he gets a free ride home and no dinner. This week's special offer from the Colonel. Oh, Sanders shouldn't have had the large Pepsi. Now, what will Sanders do? Maxine calling forlornly. <laughs> Getting Sanders under control. All right, we'll start again. Pretend this never happened. Where do you want me to start from, says Sanders. How about back here? I'll get a good run at it. Sanders! Sanders doesn't eat KFC at all, apparently. He loves Big Macs. Sanders! Oh, that got his attention. <laughs> There's someone in the Little Mac. Sanders, in fact, named not after the Colonel, but after Winnie the Pooh. Sanders was Pooh's other name, with a backwards S. A bear of little brain, of course. I'll say no more. Well, Maxine says he's a water dog. Too much temptation for Sanders. I think this will be it. <laughs> I don't think the judges want to see any more of Sanders. <laughs> oh, she's like lightning. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, that was dazzling. That's a border collie showing off. That was wonderful to watch. Kathleen says Anna wakes her up for a walk every morning at 5.45. And that is not a civilised time to be up. Oh. <laughs> oh. She's not going to get out of here in a hurry. <laughs> oh, no. It's a bit tricky. What will Kathleen do? <laughs> Pull your head out, says Kathleen. <laughs> this is an entertaining round. Oh, no, Anna. If you know, the judges do not like that. The judges don't like the dogs going back. Anna's sprinkler system. It's very hot here. The crowd probably didn't mind that. Well, I'm afraid to say that round is going to pieces. Not much law and order apparent here. <laughs> Kathleen despairing. Oh, look, that's it, I think, for Anna. Never recovered from the lily pond. Not a great beginning for the gentle giants. Bad luck. And look at this. Clean as a whistle. 
Now the applause for Bo may have been a bit premature here. He's supposed to come back in a straight line. I think the dogs are running a secret competition among themselves to do a round trip today. Here you go. Come on. Neville looks in vain for Bo, who is on the Western Springs walking tour. Now he is trying to find a way back, I think, but it's been, um, on, shall we say, a slight deviation from the agreed route. Mind you, I don't know if Bo agreed to the route. He seems to have his own ideas. <laughs> And that's a great act. Good luck. A big dog playing up a bit. Donna says she'd be rich if she had a dollar for every time someone says, that's not a dog, it's a pony. <laughs> there he goes. Yes, not just a one yes, trick dog. pony either, very nice. Dog. Thunder's mother called Storm yes. and all the siblings have bad weather names. So if you're ever down at Hokio Beach and someone says, Storm's on the way with okay. thunder, black clouds, lightning and rain, it could be just the family out for a walk. Or it could be a good time to forget about the picnic. Here are Taki and Vivian Good. <laughs> That's one way of getting in there. Taki's a, a cocker spaniel. And this is Taki's Taki. first trial. Taki, first time in the water competitively. Taki. Come on, Taki. Oh. Taki, come. <laughs> Checked out the duck. Wasn't sure about Taki, that. Come. Bit scary, those ducks. First up come. for a dog. Poppy, also known as Bob. We've seen Poppy on television fetching whiskey, but forgetting the ice. That's the same dog. And she's uh, stick, never barking all the time when she does that commercial. because <laughs> she was paid for it, I suppose. Hush money. Oh, this Get will shut her up. <laughs> well, I've got to be a bit careful not to offend Big Dexter here because I do have a soft spot for those little dogs. And I think it's time we paid tribute to the vertically challenged canines. I remember one little character called Bijou who climbed over a big gate and then looked back and he was very proud of what he had achieved. And then of course there's Zoe and Colin Furby. Can she tip Good the seesaw? Wait. Good yes, girl. just. Zoe Good cooking now as our steady cam tracks her across on, the yes, she knows Just she's wait. it's the close-ups here good girl. across the dog walk looking good girl the zoe and colin oh that was very nicely done zoe won't be a world beating time for the wizards of oz <laughs> but slow through the plastic the time top of screen they'll get oh, under the one, one foot oh no they won't colin does a sylvia potts not quite as much at stake maybe <laughs> look zoe we're home the wizards of oz now these are the semi-finals and this course is pretty demanding for a dog who's only nine inches tall. Can Bijou do the gate? Come on boy. Yes! <laughs> Bijou's amazed himself. He has a look back and says, I did that, it was me, Bijou, yes. Now, on with the course. Mandy wisely <laughs> ignoring the duck distractions. <laughs> oh, now Mandy had this problem in her heat too. This may demoralise her a bit if she doesn't get a grip soon. No, no, she's determined. She's great. That is lovely. Taking her a long time to get back, which is quite understandable. I think she may be coming to the jetty as well. Yes, it looks like she might. And this will be a very fine effort by the little Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh, nice control. Refusing to drop it and shake. Just superb. Come on, Moose. Ow. Moose catching on to the fact that there's some more to bring back. Hold. There's the cat. Hold. The inflatable oh, cat, there is. Pumped up puss there. <laughs> and among all the uh, the red herrings in our pile of in our shipwreck pile is also a green crocodile. They're Hold. the three the dogs have to get. Hold. Here's the crocodile. Which is also the name of a good sandwich bar in downtown Auckland, by the way. Moose, you are the dog. Congratulations, Jonathan. That'll be hard to beat, but it's not over yet. And can she tip the seesaw? Not a lot of weight on Jamie. Yes, she does. <laughs> Forces it down. All right, so far. Early days yet. Now the first real test, the big ditch. <laughs> she tries to circumvent Janet having none of that. Come on, Raph. Here we go, Raph and his rules. I wondered if I'd get a chance to say that. Come on, get up. And here's the big climb up the east face. Oh, yes, this is great. Get up. Good boy. 
Oh, he's got the courage of a griffin, has Rafferty. In mythology, a griffin had the head of an eagle, I think, and the body of a lion. In Rafferty's case, well, what can we say about Rafferty? He has the look of eagles, how's that? And the heart of a lion. Great face he's got, hasn't he? Excellent little dog. Very good through the slalom. Oh, <laughs> bumped his nose at the end. This has been a, a good, courageous round from Rafferty and Janet. Well done. Over. Back good on girl. course, Phoebe. Here. Our own version Come of the here. course. Come here. Good girl. Tunnel. Tunnel. Yes. Good girl. Whew. Tunnel. Good jump. Here. Nice view of mistress. Phoebe waiting for mistress there. Come here. Not the most dignified section. Now, what's she doing now? Phoebe has gone into the house on the vineyard, possibly to ask for directions. <laughs> Maybe she needs a glass of water. It's been a long time since she started out. Here, here. Come here. Master shows the way. Come on. Rogan has a look. Come on. <laughs> Rogan becomes the first dog who couldn't find his way out of a plastic bag. Oi, come on. <laughs> and they head for home. And for all those people who've enjoyed Jim Mora's great commentaries, here are some Jim Gems. They just sit so wonderfully low in the water. So, team captain, they look like friendly crocodiles when they swim. Very calm, this combination. Don't think there's any doubt about this retrieve, unless Chico goes to sleep. <laughs> Good boy, Chico home. Yes. Chico home. Gancha is a hybrid name. Dawson's a squash fan. Yes. Named his dog after Jahangir and Jancha Khan. Came up with Gancha. If it had been a bitch, I guess Dawson would have used Susan DeVoy and Lisa Opie. Called her Dopey, but I digress. And Grouse is forgetting about the lake as well. What are you doing, Grouse? No way for a Gordon setter to behave. Named after a Scotch. His brothers and sisters all named after Scotches as well. It must be only the best Scotch because he doesn't want to mix it with water. <laughs> Not too bad. Grouse defiant. He is shaken, but not stirred. No, that's a Martin, isn't it? That's two for Josh. This is getting exciting. He may be a mongrel, but he's a classy little dog. Excellent taste, too. Eats only Tux biscuits. Drinks only terrier water. The name Joshua means deliverance in Hebrew. And so far, he's delivered the shoe and the paper. And he's got the bread and an egg to go, and he's got the egg, too. Josh back with the egg. Oh, oh, no. Oh. Tragedy. Bring it the here. egg's lost its flavour on the bedpost. <laughs> on the computer internet, they've been yeah. having lists of reasons Bye. why dogs are superior to cats. Bye. There are a few good ones. Dogs Bye rule now. the universe. There are no cat constellations. Three. Dogs get better jobs, like checking suitcases at airports. <laughs> dogs have a better sense of balance. <laughs> yeah. Not. Walk and on. dogs are bigger film stars too. Wait. Would you go and watch a movie called Reservoir Cats? Great jump, Bianca. There's a great story Ruth tells about Scuba. He and his big friend Babushka were sitting in the back seat of the car in the driveway and Ruth went inside and Scuba climbed into the driver's seat. And Babushka got into the passenger seat. And Scuba, they don't know quite how he did it, released the handbrake. <laughs> this is straight out of Mr Bean, but it's true apparently. The car rolled down the drive and through some trick of the lock Good turned boy. left and went Good down boy. the street. When it came to rest, a neighbour who was short-sighted went up to investigate but was scared off by the two big blokes in the front, he said. Well, it's timely to thank all the competitors and their dogs who've taken part in Tux Wonder Dogs over the years. And they total nearly 1,000, which is incredible, isn't it? One real trooper was Bev Skates from Christchurch. In her year, the dog had to leap from the boat to retrieve something from the water, while the handler had to row ashore. Now, unfortunately, Bev Skates forgot to tell us one thing. She'd never rowed a boat before. And Bev Skates. Great entry from Abby, short for Abigail of Glasbury. Sounds like a medieval mother superior. Now, now, Bev Skates doesn't exactly have her skates on yet. I think Abby's concerned about Bev's progress rather than the other way around. <laughs> Tricky things, oars. Difficult to concentrate on everything at once, of course. Fine. Let's see what Abby's doing. Abby, fine. Good girl. Yes, oh, no. 
Mm, Abby has the crowd on their feet in suspense, but she has the dummy. And she's heading back. <laughs> and it's looking like a toss-up as to who'll get back first. Bev has an unusual technique there. I wonder if Eric Verdonk could help out. There must be a lot of crabs in that boat, my man. Hope she never tries a solo crossing of the Atlantic. She looks after Abby, does Bev. Abby has her own lamb's wool rug with pillow. So she's well looked after and she's repaying the favour today. Bev gets wet. <laughs> I'm not sure who's going to get home first. It's touch and go. But they did it. Well done. <laughs> Needs the jandle. Into the tent. Oh, he may have the jandle. I think it's on the end of the sleeping bag. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't think it's in the rules how they bring them home. <laughs> Good points. Go get it. Drive, drive, drive from Diesel. Diesel and Clayton for the Christchurch Mighty Mutts. Diesel not supposed to be in gun dogs at all. She's actually supposed to be in agility. Oh, she's got a stick. <laughs> Might get a bonus point. I'm not sure how many other points Diesel will get because this is Diesel's second only time as a gun dog. First time was in the heats and that wasn't too successful. Oh, spoke too soon, as usual. <laughs> well done. We'll let Clayton do some of the commentary. He's good at this. Come on! <laughs> Diesel has left in no doubt about what to do. Almost a Clayton's retrieve early on. I was hoping not to have to say that. But in the end, a good Bring retrieve. Bring it to Dad. Come here. <laughs> For Clayton, Diesel, come. bringing it home to Dad. Diesel, come. Diesel, bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it here. You bloody river. Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah. Here. Don't you, don't you look at those ducks. Here. Billy being Good firm. Watch me. Don't watch. Here. <laughs> you see the eyes <laughs> being Good distracted. But here, Master here. is making sure. Good job. Job. Here. Job. Here. Come on. Job. <laughs> oh, Joe, what are you doing? All <laughs> <laughs> oh, Billy's best efforts coming to nothing. Billy may be the only owner in New Zealand who cooks his dog Chinese stir fry. Does Billy? He walks. Nice finish. Lots of noodles for Joe tonight. Joe ready to go again. She can do that if they make the final. Don't you nibble them, you bring them back. Yes, great test of character for a dog. And Suey is passing the test. Little trot, proud little trot back, bearing half a pound of sausages. You'll notice that they've shortened the string for Suey. It's a very fine effort. Oh, oh this looks touch and go. Come here, come here. Stand weepy hard. We'll leave the commentary for Stan, I think. No! Come here! Stay! Stay! Go back over. Go back! No, wrong there. No! No! Go back! That's not Jeff. the one with Stan sent on. Hey! Get out of here! <laughs> Jeff. This is really Jeff. entertaining. I wonder Get what's going to happen now. Here, Jeff, here. Come here, come here. Here, Jeff. Get away back. Go back! Oh, no. Not that. Oh, those ducks. Those ducks attempting. Is he going to do it or not? Oh, he's looking. Yes, he's looking good this time. He has done it. <laughs> Didn't think he'd ever get it. Oh, Jim's off. I've done it, says Jim. Now it's my turn. A frustrated English hunting spaniel. His parents came out from, uh, from England. All that blood coursing through his veins. Oh, he spooked one duck. <laughs> Stan, well known at Cadbury's in Dunedin, used to cook their biscuits <laughs> for 15 years. Come here, Joe! Sure, would be quite happy to roast a duck, but that's not likely. Come on! Come on! Come here, Oh, look at them go right across the lake. I'll make sure you bring one back for the judge! <laughs> pick it up, pick it up! Come on, Yes! <laughs> She's doing all right. Back with the hardest first, hardest to resist for most of the dogs. All the way. Don't you eat those. Well done. Well done. So, back again for Sky. More purpose in the stride now, I think. Sky's nickname, number one bitch. Not as bad as it sounds. She was the first in the litter. Margaret looking for the right words to make Sky pick the head up, and she has. She has. So that's two back. Sky going into overdrive here because it looks like a difficult retrieve to me. Only the fish to go. The big test. Not the cow. Not the elephant. Not the fierce lion. 
not the lamb. Lamb cutlets not on the menu today. Leave the lamb alone. And yes, how about this funky monkey? That's the one. Ah, she did do it. Very happy ending here. Points for the Dalmatians. Oh, look. Flossie being threatened by the tablecloth. She'll never get it now. Oh, no. Flossie in a flat. Oh, poor friend. Makes it hard. <laughs> that Mexican's very ugly. A handsome race of people, but they've chosen a bad ambassador there. <laughs> I think Floss's cause is lost. Bad luck, girl. Not this year for family affair. Springer Spaniels. Bad luck for them. Not again. <laughs> I'm only a scooter, says Scooter. I haven't got one of those outboard motors. Now, what will Stan do next? That is the question. A slow start to the gun dog section in this semi final. <laughs> well, his name is Stan Lake. <laughs> it's a good thing it's not Cliff. Scooter and Stan enjoying themselves on the water. <laughs> now you know how the dogs feel, Stan. Right to me, over, over, oh, uh, I was waiting for that. <laughs> great leap, great insect catchers they are too. Oh, right Rupert on. named after um, King Charles the first, King Charles the first <laughs> cavalry commander. Ooh, on, Lost the battle of Marston Rupert, Moor come. Come. by recklessly come pursuing on. the enemy cavalry and leaving the king unguarded. There you are. Fourth form history of Tiger Boys High School. We ask me. Doesn't that look Get pretty, back. eh? No, no, no. Pretty unsuccessful, hey, however. Hey, hey. Come on. Oh, here we go. The old throw the mud on the water trick. Get back. Get back. <laughs> I don't Thanks. know why you're doing that, John. Thanks, Neve. It'll just dissolve Thanks. out there and you'll never Come find on. it. Come on. Well, Neve's name is uh, Come on. Mud today in English oh, or Gaelic. Like swim. No go, I fear. A no show on the lake for the great Irish water spaniel. Please. Bye Please. bye, you two. May the road rise to meet you and all that. No. Mud in your eye? <laughs> Don't call us. Uh, <laughs> Bad luck. See how he goes. Oh, Jock's being followed. <laughs> in one of nature's strange reversals, a duck is in hot pursuit of a dog. Doesn't seem to worry Jock. Well, perhaps it does worry Jock a bit. He doesn't seem to be able to find the dummy. Actually, he probably feels a bit like a dummy. Will someone get this duck off, says Jock. Owen's not bothered. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Oh, well done. Now, Jock. Heading for home with the dummy in front and the duck behind. Two for the price of one. Great deal for a Scotsman. Of course, that's what can happen to a curly-coated dog. It's a curly sort of problem. Actually, he seems to have two ducks in tow. Yes, somehow Jock has snagged another duck. He's a duck's wonder dog. You can hear the ducks laughing. Good boy, away! He's a bit Don't slow, Max, but he's rope. been a bit crook, I think, Next according point. to Mike. Away! Good boy! <laughs> Don't find the rope! Quick! Find the rope! Find the rope! Next boy! Find the rope! Max looking a little bit Good unsure boy. what a rope is. No! <laughs> it's find like that Gary Larson Max. cartoon about what dogs no. hear. Find the rope! Blah, 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 Max. Stop. Blah, 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 Max. Away! <laughs> Come! So find near. Rope, Max. Find it, good boy! Come yes! Oh, oh. Good man. Now this is very impressive. And this performance on, by the boy, by these two will make the boxers hard to beat. Well Come done, on. you guys. <laughs> After the egg and slipper. Sounds like the name of a pub that serves breakfast, doesn't it? Now Hammer has the egg. <laughs> Checks his makeup on the camera lens. He's having egg trouble, is Hammer? Oh, I think something bad may have happened. I think Hammer's cracked the egg and he can taste it. Big temptation. Oh, it's a shame, it's bad luck. Oh, good thinking, Hammer.
Another feature of Tuck's Wonder Dogs is when we visit the animal house. This is where just about any dog in the world can be a wonder dog. And I guess it's a, a special tribute to the pets who play such an important part in our everyday lives. You're going to meet some cute and clever canines in the next few minutes. One of the best of them was a dog called Bruno. <laughs> Now Bruno is a very clever collie retriever cross, owned by Jim and Helen Baxter from Whanganae. Jim knows all there is to know about training dogs. He instructs at the Whanganae Obedience Training School, and if you ever needed proof of his ability, just look at Bruno. My favourite part is when he takes on all comers in the 100 metres sprint. He even has the Carl Lewis start. As a pup, young Bruno was abandoned at the Kawarau tip, Boy, how his luck changed when he met Jim Baxter. The two have been mates ever since and now live in Northland. Bruno and Jim do the self-style Baxter two-step. He's a very practical dog. He fetches the paper from the letterbox every day and brings it back in fine condition. When he's been outside, he'll even get the towel for his rub down. Something I'd love Dexter to do is learn how to shut the door after him. Bruno does that with style. He even fetches the phone if it rings. His phone manner does need some work, although he is good with crank calls. When Jim's finished reading the paper, Bruno passes it on to Helen. And at the end of the day, he always says, thanks Jim for rescuing me from that tip and bringing me home to Whangarei. Now, I've always had a huge respect for farm dogs, the backbone of a farming nation. And this little guy not only works the animals, he feeds out as well. His name is Tip, although it should probably be Massey Ferguson or Fred Dog. He just sits back and takes it all in his stride on the back of the tractor. He can't understand what all the fuss is about with his driving tractors. As far as he can figure out, it's much faster on four paws. But the boss wants Tip to diversify. I guess you can't argue with logic like that. After all, a job's a job, and it's got to be done. This little wonder dog is Beth, a Jack Russell Terrier owned by Helen and Greg Lockley of New Plymouth. Now, they discovered at Christmas time that Beth just loves balloons. It's no one-off fly-by-night thing. She'll chase balloons all day, every day. And the only problem is that, like any three-year-old, she soon discovers that balloons have a nasty habit of bursting. Meet Shirley Bailey's menagerie from Te Aroha, the star of the troopers Wombat, who has a thirst to quench. McDougal the Shetland and Abraham the Donkey think he's quite mad. But then Wombat does enjoy a drink, and Princess and Duchess the Clydesdales are amused. Of course, while the dogs are away, young McDougal the Shetland can take care of his tuck's biscuits. This is Nicky, a little fluffy thing from Oamaru, who's very cute and like most dogs has trouble eating wrapped toffees. Every few days, Nicky has to fight off that noisy hose monster. She beats it every time and once she's scared it off, it's back to her normal daily routine that is playing with her collection of squeaky toys. Our funny dog videos continue with a number of characters like old Juice, the Rottweiler, who met his match with a fence. And motorbike Bobby, who belongs to Selena Bradbury. Then there's Harley the Boxer and his best friend, Benny the Bunny Rabbit. And not forgetting, of course, Zeus, the fencer. Now, Benny the bunny certainly won't jump to attention for a dog. And Zeus, well, he won't jump. Owner Jan Reed of Waikuku in North Canterbury says the boxer always comes off second best when Benny's around. Zeus, a Greek god, needs some divine intervention. This dynamic bunny boxer duo even shares a bowl of food. And just when Harley starts to relax, this little ball of fluff makes another move. Meanwhile, old Zeus would be happy to be able to make any sort of move. The game of hide-and-seek continues around the back of the kennel. 
Our next star is Shay, a seven-year-old foxy. Shay uses an upturned frisbee as a skateboard. What's that about getting your skates on? Brenda Skirts from Nelson. She says Shay forgets he's getting old and will slide around the backyard all day. A tearaway terrier. Meanwhile, this poor old fella's still trying to get over his hurdle. Now, Shay demonstrates another talent, his ability with a soccer ball. Uh, things are starting to happen now, Zeus. Shay is the winter roofer of fox terriers. He's even the right colour, being an all-white terrier. And I don't think Zeus would somehow make the all-blacks. Apparently, Brenda says they have to hide the ball or Shay will chase it till he drops. But at last for our Zeus, his Everest is conquered and his walk can continue. Then there's Aski. Now this little girl is the best evidence you'd ever need of a dog providing so much fun and enjoyment for a family. She's a three-year-old heading dog. Give us five. No, sit. Give us five. Good girl. Yes, there you go. But the Wood family of Upper Hutt have trained her their own form of agility, from the children's tunnel to its many variations, and every one of them is a gem. Then when the children have gone, Peter DeWitt goes one-on-one -on -one with Aski Jordan. She's obviously a sports fanatic, our Aski, because over the last few weeks she's been watching a lot of television. And she's picked up some big tips from the World Cup. She loves to be the goalkeeper. This is the one side, this is the top, this is the other side of the goalpost, OK, guys? Aski, come here. Aski, sit. Wait. OK, now over here we've got Jonathan, who's going to take the penalty. So with all the kids in the neighbourhood, Meg, Jasmine, Ethan, Nicola and Jonathan acting as strikers, Aski is the goalkeeper. And she's pretty darn good at it too. So now we know another reason why she's called a heading dog. Not many goals get through. And just to show her style, let's go to the slow-mo replay. No goal. <laughs> Jocelyn and Misty, the Newfoundland, <laughs> waiting. Whoa, copper, live wired, superconducted. Misty heads for the same tree. Won't work this time. Great pick up and return from copper. Wonderful stuff. Whoa, drama. Oh, Misty, <laughs> that's a great trick. <laughs> copper tries to retrieve the ball. Does so. Too late for Misty this time. Copper today's winner. <laughs> now, this will be interesting. On the slow mo, you can see Misty going behind that pine tree. See you, says Copper. Excuse the pun. Misty biding her time. And we know what happens next. Wait for it. There's... Ambush. <laughs> well done. Dale and Carol waiting at the finish. And we're waiting for the start. And here they go. Tyler got the jump and the lead. But here comes Jagger with a ring burst. Yes. Oh, what happened here? Victory in sight. Dale in despair. We'll see in the slow mo. Tyler well ahead. No, a gumboot obscured the critical moment. Jagger just kind of turned around. Maybe you saw Jerry Hall in the crowd. I don't know what happened. There are the ducks in question. And here's Jim, the spaniel. He's up against a dog called Rosie, who we've already seen. And uh, up the other end is Stan Reed. <laughs> uh, calling Jim. Suzanne Nilsson with Rosie. Stan making sure Jim comes this way. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> there. Jim is headed for the water, there's Rosie. Very good, she's one heat one, and where is Jim? Let's look at the slow-mo. Jim had no intention of competing whatsoever. Wasn't listening to anything except the, the call of the wild ducks. Look at those ears go. Rosie, very quick and correct, no problem. And, oh, Jim's back. <laughs> Jim has decided he will compete after all, just in time for the next heat. Polly decides to give him a rate. And Jim back to Stan. <laughs> There goes the little fella, and here comes the border collie. Yeah, it'll be close. <laughs> now, what happened? Chi Chi is still trundling along. He's, he's there for the long haul. He's there for next week's sprint, <laughs> and even then they might catch him. He doesn't seem too concerned, does he, Chi Chi? He's running his own race. Bruce doesn't seem to mind either. He's not Chi Chi the Choo Choo. No rats to chase, I think. That was the problem. But he's a pretty eager sort of beaver, isn't he? Yes. Or Labrador. Yes. Oh. <laughs> What did I tell you? <laughs> the name Dachshund means badger dog, and with no badgers in New Zealand, little wonder one of them is a bit confused about what he's supposed to chase. 
these little guys spend a lot of their day barking, and when they're not barking, they're running. And getting to know each other a little better. And while it may look like slow motion, they're going as fast as their little legs will carry them. And sometimes on a clear blue winter's day, they even manage to catch it. And don't they enjoy it when they do? Now let's take another look at that catch and wonder at the sheer artistry of it. Dachshunds are true hounds and they enjoy nothing more than a good chase. There's a size and length for everyone in the hound family, everything from Rhodesian Ridgebacks to Greyhounds, Beals and Wolfhounds. St Bernard's are great if you're lost in the mountains, but if you need rescuing out of water, deep water, what you need is a Newfoundland. Mercy, help! So it was Murphy to the rescue. 65 kilograms of bulk and four poor paddle had Jude back into shore in no time, and he was doing it with ease. These dogs were born to swim and are instinctive rescue dogs. They're great childminders near the water too. But still, it's a human scent coming through, and, and the warmth makes the, the scent permeate up through the snow. So he gets a bit of a sniff, and then of course he digs dig deeper. And the, the deeper he digs, the, the stronger the smell gets, and then the more inclined he is to carry on digging. She's just got hard, so she just put him in there, hasn't it? <laughs> For our victim Ian Watson, his claustrophobia is beaten again. But there's a real relief at finally getting out of that hole. Well done. Thank goodness me. Just an ordinary street with ordinary people and ordinary dogs. And probably all over the country there are dogs just like Dana. She has a happy family home, comfortable bed, water bowl, bickies and all that a little dog could want. But there are times when the one thing Dana really wants is company. She's such a friendly little dog, but being home alone is just not her thing. Aha, the neighbours are home. Dana thinks a visit is called for. It's just a little crawl through the hole in the fence, a scoot around the pool, and she's there. She feels right at home here too, and the neighbours' chairs aren't too bad either. She thinks that whoever invented sheepskin's got to be a genius. Then, when Dana hears the car in the driveway, and her family arriving home, well, there's not much time for thank yous until the next time she feels like being neighbourly. Hugh Robertson and Rogan Coborn train their dogs to sniff out kiwis, and they're good at it. Ollie, the yellow lab, has found more than 100 kiwis in some pretty thick undergrowth. Mostly the kiwis are sniffed out during the day, the dock rangers returning in the evening to tag them. Come on. Where is it? Where is it? For young Oscar, the black lab, it's his first day on the job. Ollie, look. It took his mate Ollie less than 10 minutes hey, to find our kiwi. first Good little dog. spotted kiwi. Hey, kiwi. Hey, it's a kiwi. Hey, this is a yeah, it's a little spotted oh, kiwi. Wait. This looks like a female. We're waking her up. Ah, uh, yes. Or her up, should I say. What we're doing Wait. is checking on the bands. You can see they've got uh, each individual kiwi. has got his own individual marking. Look, Oscar. Oh, look. Ooh. 
Until now, Oscar's been used to sniffing out bags of kiwi feathers around his home. Today was his first experience with a real live kiwi. Good boy, Lee. From now on, he'll know what he's looking for. Good boy, Lee. Good boy, Lee. Somebody said to me one day, they're dopey and they're ugly. And I couldn't believe it. I didn't answer the guy because I just didn't know what to say. Gay Butler is a bulldog fanatic and this little fella is her latest example. Meet Munch. He got his name because he was only nine ounces born and we had, we thought we would have trouble rearing him and we just kept him on mum all the time and said munch along, so munch stuck. The bulldog got its name from bringing down huge bulls. Its flat face enabled it to breathe while hanging on to the side of the bull. But that thankfully is an ancient history, and now the bully is a favourite. I can see Chaz, he's, he's really anxious, he's really? coming now, and I'm starting to get a bit hey, stay there, mate. worried about this. <laughs> stay what? there, I want to work out. go away. No, you stay there. tough. You do your tongue your dog. dog. <laughs> nah, get out of it. I'm tough. Stay I can handle there. You. I'm warning you. I'll send the dog. I can handle your dog. It's your last chance, mate. Nah, go on. Go home. Where else? Go. Good boy. Good boy. There is a good real boy. feeling of pressure on my arm. And the more good I resist, boy. the more of this vice like grip Chaz applies. A midwinter picnic in the lush green Waikato hinterland. 250 people gather around. They all have one thing in common. They love and they live with Jack Russell Terriers. The Northern JR Club attracted 100 of the little dogs and it was a day of appreciating the finer points of the breed. One of which is personality. And they have bucket loads of that. There you go. What a classic. And that's just about it for our best ever Wonder Dogs. It's certainly been great reliving some of the best and funniest moments from the Tux Wonder Dog series. And Dexter and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have our little walk along memory lane. And I thought I'd leave you with a bit of a tribute to our best friend, the dog, and I'll dedicate this poem to my mate here, Dexter. When God made the earth and sky, the flowers and the trees, he then made all the animals, all the birds and bees. And when his work was finished, not one was quite the same. He said, I'll walk this earth of mine and give each one a name. And so he traveled land and sea, and everywhere he went, a little creature followed him until its strength was spent. When all were named upon the earth and in the sky and sea, the little creature said, Dear Lord, there's not a name left for me. The father smiled and softly said, I've left you to the end. I've turned my own name back to front and called you Dog, my friend.
Well, you've all heard the story about the working dogs day. Now the big smoke dog gonna have their say. Those same 40 years in God's own land, we've been a part of the family plan. With the house and kids, it's a full-time job. We've been the dinner for the family dog. And it's touch to ten full of light. Thin as a fiddle, sharp as a knife. Touch to ten full of light. Keen and lean and overdrive. Oh, bitch, catch here, boy. Woo! What a mob. There ain't no rest for the family dog. From Cape Rihanna to the bluff. Only one dinner that's good enough. And it's touch to ten full of light. Thin as a fiddle, sharp as a knife. Keeps him full of life, keen and lean and overdrive. At the end of the day, when the sky turns red, and that family dog, well, he's been fed. He'll lie down, he's earned his keep.